In this video I will show you how to add the Java slider for your store provided in the following forum post. So the first step you want to do is go to the forum post and click on this link to download the JavaScript files. Click download and save file. Once the file has been downloaded, once it's been downloaded, simply click on it. You will need a rare file uh, program to unzip it. So you extract the files. And as you see, you have four files. This file gives you the instructions. These two are the JavaScript files you're going to upload. And this file contains a CSS that you're going to copy and add directly to the store, to the custom CSS. So, open the instructions. And in the first step, you're going to go to your store, design theme editor. On the current theme, click customize. For the JavaScript editor, click Browse. Select the two files, the two JavaScript slider files, and click Open. Then click Upload. Now this may not have take as quickly as mine did to upload. If it does take a little while, just allow it to continue. Do not push the upload button again because it'll cause an error. Click CSS editor and then go to your back to the files. Open the coin slider styles. Hold down the control button and click A and then hold down the control button and click C. The control button is a CTRL button. This will copy all the CSS code. Click in the Edit Custom CSS, hold down the Control button, and click V. This will po paste the CSS code into the editor. Once done, save. And you can go back into the theme again, and you can see that the CSS has been saved and the slider ja JavaScript files have been saved. Next step is to create the static block. Go to CMS, static block, add new block. You can give the block title whatever you would like. I'm calling it slider. Then click Show Hide Editor and go back to your files. And now open the Coin Slider instructions. In here, you are going to copy this entire section of the code. From the end of the ending div, from the beginning script all the way to the ending div. Copy that entire section of code. And as you saw, when you open the, when you first create the editor, it will show like this. You want to click Show Hide Editor, then click in the box, and paste the code as it was. Then click Save Blocks, Save Block. We will return to this block shortly. Next, go to CMS Pages, Manage Content. Sorry. Go into the home page. Content. And in here you're going to want to add your static block above, likely above or below the banner, however you want, if there is no banner. 
basically place the cursor wherever you want it and click insert widget for the front end app type select CMS, CMS static block then click select block and click slider then click insert front end app and as you see this is your static block added click save page and now you will return back to the slider static block so go back to CMS static blocks click on slider and then click on show hide editor now you will see that the code is been the code that's been entered these are the sections that you are going to change each of these codes represents an image with a link so if you want to add multiple more than these two images simply copy this portion of the code and paste it as many times as you would like to add the image sorry you have to do that before the div closing div at the end so it has to be pasted within before the closing div in this case I'm only going to show you for the two images so I'm going to remove all of them and as you can see you have the opening div closing div and the two image source links so the first thing you want to do is change the pound sign to your link this will have the link that you are going to send your customer whenever they click on the link on the picture this can remain blank this can remain whatever you would like it this can even be removed completely next stage is to change the image so you highlight this entire portion including the quotation marks and click insert image if your images already exist you do not you just need to click on the image itself and click insert file if not you click browse you locate the image and click open then click upload files and allow it to upload again this may take a few minutes so you do not want to keep pushing the upload files next as stated click on the image and click insert file this now inserts the image the original image you want to remove this that you only have one image source as you can see and then you could change the description that you would like again the second one within the quotation marks you are going to change the link then you're going to highlight the image source unlike before where I made the mistake and this time it would be easier for you just highlight the entire image source click insert image click on the image and click insert file as you can see there's no double up because you've replaced the original image source with this image source and you can change the description for this one as well 
if you want to add additional codes simply copy this again repeating myself but to best just to be sure and clear copy the code and before the closing div is where you add the additional link when done and added all images and links click save block go to your home page and refresh and as you can see the slider has been added now you're going to want to have your images sized you're going to want to have your images sized according to the following click show height editor you're going to want your images sized according to this width and this height so all your images that you upload should be based on whatever you have here for this width and height and you can always change these as you would like and that will change the size of your slider and this concludes the tutor video tutorial for the image slider <laughs>